Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. So today we are going through my highlighter collection and I'm going to do a small declutter. I have been going through my makeup. I'm trying to pare things down a little bit. I'm not a minimalist, so I'm still gonna keep a lot of stuff. I love makeup, we know that, and I like having a lot of different options. So what I have in my collection right now is stuff some of it is from like when I first started makeup, <laughs> very old. And then some of it is some of the newer stuff I picked up. So you can kind of see how my tastes have changed over the years. But I'm not going to get into it too much right now. I'm going to let you see everything in the video. If you're new, please hit that subscribe button, join the family, and let's jump into this declutter. have a feeling that this is going to be more of a showing my collection versus a declutter because I don't think I have a lot of these that I want to declutter but we'll see how it goes so these are my highlighters and face powders and setting powders um this is highlighters here so we'll start here this is the Becca shimmering skin perfector liquid in the shade Prosecco pop I know this is super old and honestly, I don't think I've ever used it. So I've just recently been getting into liquid highlighters more, which is sad because I've had this for a while. It's really pretty. So I don't want to get rid of it yet because I haven't used it. And although, you know, I'm going to take this out to use now because I'm pretty sure I don't think I'm going to like it because it looks very gold and that's not my cup of tea. So I'm going to take this out to see if I'm going to keep it. Next, I have this Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Rose Gold. This was very dirty. Um, this was actually upstairs in my bathroom, and I really do like this. It is more of a subtle highlighter for me. Yuck. Because it is Rose Gold versus my standard kind of champagne shade that I like. I'll finish cleaning this later, but... That's what it looks like. You can see I got a little dent in it. This was upstairs for a while and I just brought it back down to rotate some stuff out. So I'm going to keep it. Next is this Jeffree Star Cosmetics Highlighter. This is the Skin Frost in Uranus. This is the collaboration he had with uh, Manny MUA. Guys, I really like this highlighter. I like the shade of it. I like the texture. I don't feel like it accentuates any of my pores just very pretty so I know we're not a fan but I like this formula and the shade so I'm keeping it this is the Marc Jacobs Omega Glaze all over foil luminizer in the shade guilty I found this at either a Marshall's or a TJ Maxx or something like that um, I want to say this is the only Marc Jacobs one that I have and I think I've only swatched it. I don't remember wearing it. Oh, she's a little gold. I'm gonna take it out because I'm gonna see. I'm not a big fan of like super gold highlighters on my skin tone. I like a softer gold, so I need to see. Next I have this Cover FX. This is the Perfect Highlighting Palette. This is old and she has been used. I like palettes like this because it has different ranges of the shades. But like some of these I've never worn. Mainly I use this one and this one. That's a little too dark for me. But the formula is just so smooth. So I'm going to keep this one just because I like all that it has different shades in it. Next I have the Ofra Rodeo Drive. Love this. Not getting rid of it. This is the Milk Makeup. Flex Highlighter in Glazed. I think, I think I got this from Marshalls or something. And honestly, that's too dark for me. And I think I'm just holding on to it because I tell myself I can use it as an eyeshadow or something like that, even though I don't do that. It's just so pretty. And I don't think I have any other from this brand. And that might be another reason I'm holding on to Let me try it on my face. I only swatch it and I'm like, I don't think I'll like it. So let me try it on my face before I decide. Next is this Rare Beauty Illuminator in Flaunt. This is their liquid highlighter. I just got this. Love it. Not getting rid of it. This, 
Honestly, I'm keeping it for collector's purposes. This is the MAC and Mariah Carey collaboration, the highlighter in my Mimi. This is too dark for me. I think it's darker than the one I just swatched, honestly. Oh, no. Um, I'm just, I'm keeping this because it was a limited edition and <laughs> I'm a hoarder, that's why. <laughs> Next, I have the Balm Betty Luminizer. This, I don't wear this. I got this because I wanted to wear Mary Luminizer and it was too light, I thought. And so then they said, oh, well, this one's for dark skin. So I got it. This is when I first got into makeup, but I never reach for this. So I'm going to take it out. I'm going to try it, see how it looks, but I'm probably going to get rid of it. This is the LA Girl Strobe Light Strobing Powder. This is so glittery, but it looks glittery in the pan, but then when you put it on, it's like, you don't see that glitter at all. I don't think so. I don't know, but I love the tone of it, so that's why I keep it. It's really pretty on the skin too. It just looks super glittery. This is the Ofra Blush Stripes Illuminating I don't know what this is supposed to be. I don't use this at all. I don't like the stripes because I don't like mixing stuff. I'm that way with everything. This is not my tone. Ooh, but it's pretty though. That is very pretty, but it's just, that's too light. And I don't like any of these other ones. So I'm gonna get rid of this one. This is still in the box. So you know we ain't getting rid of it. I have a back, this is a backup. Oh. I do have another milk makeup, so I probably can't get rid of that other one. Um, this is a backup, and I guess the other one, where's the other one? No, here. This is the Becca Low Light Highlight Perfecting Palette. I fell in love with this because of the contour shade, which I used to use a lot, so much so that I thought I needed a backup. And actually, this highlighter shade is really pretty. It just says highlight. It doesn't have a color... Uh, shade name but I just I love the shade of that I need to use this again to see how this shade works because I used to swear by this being yeah it's like super gray um being like my perfect contour so I'm gonna take this out because I haven't worn it in a while but I have a backup so I might get rid of this since I know it's old and keep the backup I don't know Next, I have this Hard Candy. This is their Tiki Baked Bronzer. I don't know why they call this a bronzer. It's a highlighter. I have used this quite a few times, even though it doesn't look like it with this baked dome formula, but this is so pretty. I don't even know if you can get this anymore, but it is not glittery at all. Like It is very just nice little sheen on the skin. I love the tone of it, so I'm keeping this. I need to wear this again soon. This is the Milani Sunlight Spotlight Eye and Face Strobe Palette. If you say so. I am realizing I don't like stuff that has, like it's cool that if it has different shades like the um, Cover FX one I had, but these being, it's like it's too hard to get to them. But these are so pretty and the formula is really nice. I just, I never reach for this because of, ooh, that is so pretty, um, because of how it's made, to be honest. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it. This is the other Milk Makeup Highlighter that I have. This one is in the shade Iced. I don't know why I still have it in the box. I do this all the time. Um, this is definitely more of the tone that I like. And I know that I got, I'm pretty sure I got this one from the Milk website and the other one I think I got from Marshalls or something like that so definitely keeping this one this back here is a NARS jubilation dual intensity blush so obviously that is not a blush and this is so old I know I got this from like Glambot so that's the thing like I used to buy a lot of stuff from there but you don't know how old it is when it got there let alone how long I've been having it but these are the shades It's pretty. I just, I don't reach for it. Ooh, and I don't know why. Because I have so many, honestly, that's why. I'm going to keep this. I like this shade a lot. That's, the gold, it's nice. I'm going to keep this too. 
All right, so these I lost my mind with because when Wet n Wild came out with highlighters, everybody was all excited. So of course you had to have them and then they were hard to find for a while. And so when I found them, I bought extras because you're gonna run out of highlighter, right? So this one is the Sweetest Bling Limited Edition Mega Glow Highlighting Powder. I don't know why I bought this. Like, Barbara, that is not, I mean, it's pretty, but you're not gonna wear that. And I tried to justify stuff about like, oh, well, I'm going to wear it on my eyes and I'm not. I have 200 eyeshadow palettes. You're not wearing any, <laughs> you're not wearing any highlighters on your eyes. So she's cute, kind of duochrome, but no, I'm going to get rid of it. Next is Precious Petals. This one isn't even open. It's a backup. This is Crown of My Canopy which I think might be too dark from what for what I normally like. So this is Precious Petals. This one is so pretty. Like, that's perfect for me. This is Crown in My Canopy. Yeah, this one's open. So let's see. That's pretty too, honestly. I'm not getting rid of it. I didn't need backups. I definitely did not need backups. But, yeah. This one is the Revolution shimmer brick radiant i got this whenever the bobby brown when these first came out because they were supposed to be similar to the bobby brown shimmer bricks and again i don't like to mix them but that's kind of what you're supposed to do and it's pretty i just don't love all this like i normally try to like get it in one i'm gonna get rid of this one this is i'll just take this out the box jacqueline hill iced highlighter I have not used this yet I think I swatched it I love the packaging of this a lot of people talked about how it was like super bulky and maybe extra but I just I like it so that has one thing going for it but this is the shade this one I actually think was okay I love these the formula like that is so blingy and you just need the tiniest amount Definitely keeping. This is the MAC Oh Darling Extra Dimension Skin Finish. I, this is one of the few like gold gold ones that I actually like. And honestly, I think it's probably more for the formula. I'm gonna keep this one. Anything that was limited edition, I'm probably gonna keep it. Unless I just don't like it. This is another Jaclyn Hill. This is in Mesmerized. I thought this one wasn't going to show up well because it's kind of like a rose gold, but this is so, it looks more gold actually. It's so pretty. So definitely keeping that one. These are fairly new. This is the Revlon Skin Lights Prismatic Highlighter. This one is in Twilight Gleam. This I know I'm keeping. It's within the past year that I got it. And I think it is super gorgeous. It looks really gold. But just, again, super beautiful, nice and shiny. That's a little more glittery than the other ones I've been swatching, but it doesn't look like it would be in the pan. No, I guess not. Gorgeous shade, so keeping. Next, I have this Milani Champagne Doro Baked Highlighter. I know I'm not getting rid of this. I just got this within the past year, and it is so pretty. So gorgeous. This, I know I'm not getting rid of. This is the LYS Aim High Pressed Highlighter Powder. I thought this was going to be so glittery. And then when I put it on my face, it was just like, whoa. So definitely keeping. This is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Opal. <sighs> I know this is too light for me. I think it's too light for me based on what I like. But I feel like if I just go in with a light hand, I've been able to make it work. But this is so old. <laughs> And being that you can't get it anymore, well, it's not that different from that one, actually. I don't want to get rid of it, so definitely keeping. This is another MAC. This is Whisper of Guilt, which I found at a cosmetics company store in a holiday bag that they had. And I've wanted this forever, only because everybody talked about how great it was. And it was like the perfect highlighter shade, so... I am definitely not getting rid of this. So gorgeous. Do all of these shades look similar? Of course they do. Does it matter? Absolutely not because <laughs> I am a collector and I like them. So 
Up next, we have the Lorac. This should be with my blushes. This is the Hollywood Baked Matte Satin Blush. Ah, uh, where's the matte? Let me see. I mean, I don't know about matte, but this is gorgeous. It needs to go with my blushes because I'm keeping it. This is the Milani Strobe Light in Day Glow. I absolutely love this. So pretty. Love the shade of it. It is a strobe light. So it is not like you can build it up to be a super bright highlighter, but it still just looks more of like lit from within versus the like sitting on top of your skin beaming to outer space highlighter. This is the Maybelline Master Chrome by Face Studio in Molten Gold. I picked this up because I wanted to have a, I think this is one of the first, other than the Wet n Wild, first drugstore highlighters that I picked up. Wanted to have a option and these were a rave for a while. It's absolutely gorgeous. This is a Ofra Banana Powder. This should be with my face powders. Why I have two of them. I actually use these in my travel bag um, because I have that magnetic case that I keep my eyeshadows in and my face powders. So these will be with my face powders, but I'm keeping them. This is the Juvia's Place Nefertiti Loose Highlighter. I don't love loose highlighters. I don't, I feel like they're messy. I feel like, oh, see already just looking at this, I'm getting anxiety that I'm gonna spill it everywhere. But they're so pretty. Oh my goodness, look at that. It just gives me like I'm making a mess. I don't love messy stuff. So I don't know. I think it's pretty. I'm going to, I don't want to get rid of it. Do I? Mm, I'm going to take it out. I think I'm going to get rid of it. Honestly, I don't love loose highlighters. That's just the truth. This is the Laura Mercier translucent. What is this? I feel like this was that face powder that ended up being a highlighter. I think just for the packaging alone on this, I want to get rid of it. Yeah, it's a loose highlighter. I'm going to get rid of this. All right. More of loose highlighters back here. Artist Couture Illuminati. Oh, I think I just got this because of the hype. And I was like, I want to see. Like, that is so pretty. This is definitely more of a shade I would use versus the other one I just took out from Juvia's Place. But, like, literally... That is so pretty. I'm gonna keep this one. I don't want a bunch of these though, cause I don't reach for them. This is the Boomin Highlighter ColourPop and Makeup Shayla. Of course, I wanted to support Makeup Shayla, so I had to get this. I'm keeping it because it's limited edition and I wanna put these flat so they're easier to open limited edition support shayla i'm keeping it laura mercier gilded honey this is so old i bought this like after it got hot and sold out everywhere and then i finally found it and i got it and i get it like it's gorgeous so definitely keeping that one i have no idea how i'm organizing these um this is ooh, this is so old color pop parasol the fact that this is not even dried out yet, oh, that is gorgeous. Definitely keeping. I need to bring that upstairs. I promise you I've had this for like, if y'all know how old this is, that's how long I've had it, forever. <laughs> this is the Stila Stay All Day 10-in-1 HD Illuminating Beauty Balm. This is not even open. And I promise you I've had this for years and it's not open because I don't wear liquid. I didn't wear liquid, now I'm just starting to. Let's see what she looks like. What the hell is that? Something that's going in the trash. I don't know what this is, but it can go. All right, up next we have the Physician's Formula Butter Highlighter. This is in Champagne. This is fairly new. I mean, I don't even know what the shelf life on these are, but if it's within a couple years, I ain't getting rid of it. I like this. It's weird because it kind of feels like it's a gel or something, but it is definitely a powder and very, very, very shiny. 
Fenty Beauty Hustler Baby. Most of the, I don't have any full size Fenty's, but this one is gorgeous. This is also Hustler Baby. I ended up with two sets, so this one has not been used. I'll put this, actually, I'll just leave it in here. I don't have that much. Um, this is from something I got from an Ipsy Diamond Kiss Mineral Face and Body Shimmer. I can tell y'all right now, I'm going to get rid of this. I don't even want to swatch it. It's making a mess. This is Avalon by ColourPop. This came in this, I think I got a set with Parasol. Ooh, the, the fact that these are still good, like that is so bronzy and beautiful, but I'm not going to wear it, but it's so pretty. Like what would I, that's not my shade. That's not what I wear. But it's so pretty. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. You don't wear it. Get rid of it. I'm like sitting there telling myself, well, maybe you can wear it as a blush topper. Or blah, blah, stop it. All right. This is Milk Makeup Holographic Highlighting Stick in Mars. I feel like I don't remember loving this. I got this from Marshalls or TJ Maxx. And I mean, it's cute, but I'm going to get rid of it. This is the Wet n Wild Times. Times. I always say that. Wet n Wild Fergie Collab. That shade is so pretty, but I, f I don't reach for this. I'm just holding on to it because it was a collab and because it's pretty, but like, I love the shade of it. But do I have other shades like this? Yes, I'm still gonna keep it. Anastasia Beverly Hills Peach Nectar. Why did I pick this shade? Of all the shades I could have gotten, because it's gorgeous. Yeah, I'm keeping that, and that's coming upstairs. This is MAC Bleeming Blush, their Extra Dimension Skin Finish. So this one, she's a little gold, but she has a shift to it. I don't know if you can see that. It's like gold to pink. Ah, I need to wear that one day, but it ain't going to be right now. This is the MAC Perfect Topping Mineralized Skin Finish. For a while, I really tried to get into MAC. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to get rid of this one. I've had this for a while. Let me do it on this hand. I've had this for a while, and I just don't reach for it anymore, and it's honestly kind of light. It's so pretty, though. But I'm going to get rid of it. This is... Bronze Goddess Heat Wave by Estee Lauder. Y'all remember when this came out and everybody lost their minds? <sighs> Keeping. This is Becca Champagne Pop. I feel like I should get rid of Opal and keep this one because I do like the shade of this more. Let's see. Where's the other one? Here. They, they don't look that, that much different. I'm going to, oh, this just makes me feel some type of way, but I don't reach for it. I'm going to get rid of Opal. And then this is the Lorac Tantalizer Highlighter and Matte Bronzer Duo. This is really good. I like the bronzer. I don't know if it's deep enough anymore, but when it first came out and I first got into highlighting and bronzing, I thought it was like perfect. And now I don't know what I would wear with this because you can't even see that. Oh, wrong finger. I'm going to get rid of this. And I think I have a backup of it somewhere. Crazy how your taste changed. Like whenever I first got into makeup, I thought that was perfect. So much so that I bought a backup of it. And now I'm just like, mm, I don't like it. All right, back here we have some palettes. This is the Makeup Geek and Kathleen Lights palette. I'm definitely keeping this. This is the... Lancome. This was a holiday palette. I think I got from either Marshall. Yeah, Marshall's or TJ Maxx. Really, really pretty. Keeping that. Y'all already know this ain't going nowhere. Pat McGrath Sublime Skin Highlighting Trio. Absolutely love this. This is the Elf Glow Gleam Beam. I remember a couple of the shades I swatched in here I didn't love. I need to do a full face of e.l.f. video. I did the video. I hated the video. So I'm keeping this to do that again. 
but I feel like I remember when I used this, I didn't love it. So keeping this because I need to do a video, but probably going to declutter it after that. Flower Beauty. I don't know where my brush is for this, but this is really good. And I have used this. So keeping it. Eloise Get Gleaming Body Glow Illuminator. I don't wear stuff like this. This ain't even open. Oh, Champagne Rich. I'm not going to wear this. Ooh, but that is pretty. Can you wear this as a fit? Has this been open? Oh, I was about to say, Barbie, I haven't even tried it. Yeah, this is definitely for your body, but like, I just don't wear stuff like that. I'm going to bring it upstairs and see if maybe I try to get glowy this summer, but it will probably end up in the trash. This is the Laura Getter Laura Geller Dew Dream Illuminating Drops. I can tell you right now, I'm probably going to get rid of this. I think these were a couple bucks I got on their website when I ordered the foundation. Like, I don't wear that. Trash. This is another one. I mean, it's bad enough I barely wear a liquid, and I just feel like this formula with it being as wet as it is, no, trash. This is an Easy Illuminating Stick by Laura Geller in Gilded Honey. So, why does she look like that? Keep that one. I think it, I tried this before and it has my makeup on it or something. This is Diamond Dust. I don't wear stuff like this. I don't know why I'm holding on to it. She can go. The Beauty Crop Light what lighting crew highlighting cream this is whoa well she's very messy but look at that foil i would not use this on my face i don't know what i would use it for so with that being said i'm gonna let it go it's messy back here becca shimmering skin perfector in opal probably gonna get rid of this See, I've never been one to like, oh, I'm a mix highlighter in my makeup and da -da -da. like, I just don't. But I'm going to keep this one because honestly, I want to see if I can use it the same way I've started using this and if I love it or not. So I'm going to keep that one and try it since I got rid of the powder. Go ahead and put these. Oh, there's one more back there. Two more back here. KVD Metal Crush, y'all. Hold on. Let me put these down. This is so... <sighs> this is one of those things that I've just held on to because of what it is. And I was like, I'm not putting this on my face, but I would use it as hot as like eyeshadow, but I'm not. It's so pretty, though. I'm not ready to get rid of it yet. I don't know what I'm going to use it for, but... <laughs> I'm keeping it for a little while. And then last, I think these are all the highlighters. This is old. This is the Benefit Watts, Watts Up. And it comes with this little sponge, which I would not use right now because this is so old, but that's pretty. I need to use this. And then this is Burberry Fresh Glow Luminous Base. See, the fact that... No, I'm going to get rid of this. It's little. It was a sample I got. But the fact that they're just so hard to... Like, easy to spill. That is pretty, though. But, yeah. She can go. Kind of reminds me of the Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow. Except that one is more gold versus that looks like pearl. So, that is it for my highlighters. Other than my, I guess, let me pull my high-end ones out this top drawer. I keep my high-end stuff, like all my Pat McGrath stuff together, but I just realized and I have, some, <laughs> I have some more upstairs. So this is not my complete collection. I might go get them. I don't know, but is that all the highlighters? I think it is. These are face powders. Okay, so up here I have the Pat McGrath. Divine Rose Skin Fetish Ultra Go Highlighter. Not getting rid of that. Super gorgeous. I also have the Big Heavy Mama. This is Champagne Gold Skin Fetish Sublime Skin Highlighter. This is so pretty. I 
kept sticking the top in this one when I try to close it. I might have a couple more in here. So this is the Hourglass Radiant Light Ambient Lighting Powder. This is so old. And I honestly don't use this for anything. But I remember using it as a face powder and I just felt like it looked so pretty. I'm gonna keep that. This is my Tom Ford Skin Illuminating Powder Duo in Flicker. Definitely not getting rid of this. I didn't show this with my bronzers and stuff because I forgot it was up here. This is the Natasha Denona Contour Sculpting Powder in 05 Deep, one of my favorites. Anything up here I ain't getting rid of because this is like all favorites and my high end stuff. This is the Marc Jacobs Accomplice Setting Powder. This is kind of similar to the Hourglass. I like using this under my eyes. I also have, this is in number 54 Muse. And then I also have number 52 Siren, which honestly, they're very similar. This is just a, uh, I think the shade on this one might be, yeah, a little bit lighter. Also up here, am I not getting rid of, I did my blushes already too, but this is the Patrick Ta blush in Oh She's Different. Not getting rid of that. Then this is the bronzer in She's Chiseled open this because you're opening it the wrong way also not getting rid of that this is my nars valley why is this not oh see i keep this at the top because it's like my high-end stuff but this should be with my bronzers so keeping that this is the sunstone light reflecting setting powder Ooh. I need to bring this upstairs. I don't think I've really used this oh, on my face. I just swatch it. But this is another one of those like setting powder. Kind of give you a little bit of sheen. I'm going to bring this upstairs. This is the Power My Day One Face. What is it called? There's no name on it. This is um, Colored Rain. Their blush and highlighter. Love this. This is the Tom Ford Sheer Highlighting Duo. This is so gorgeous and nothing about this is sheer. Absolutely beautiful. Fairly new to my collection. This is the Bobbi Brown Foiled Petal Luxe Gilded Highlighter. I say that slow. It looks very pink, but I don't know when I swatched it. Like I love just that kind of rose gold shift. Super pretty. This is the Bobby Brown Shimmer Brick in Bronze. I don't want to get rid of this. Oh, I might have to. She is dry. There we go. I don't know if that's an overspray. What is happening? So those two feel pretty. But down here... Mm, I don't know. I'm gonna have to play with this because she might need to go. This is the Bobbi Brown Bronze Glow Highlighter. Absolutely keeping gorgeous. This is the Laura Mercier Indiscretion Baked Highlighter. See my Glambot sticker? Uh, let's see. Oh, that's pretty. That's like a nice kind of lit from within. No texture at all. I also have Spellbound, which is a little more rose gold. Ooh, definitely keeping. And then I have an Artist Couture. This is in Hot Damn. I think I got this on sale at Sephora. She's cute. Other than what I have upstairs, which I am keeping in my everyday drawer, I think this is it. We are not, we're gonna come back to these. So this is what I am getting rid of. I feel pretty good about that. I did not expect to even get rid of that many, to be honest. These right here are what I'm bringing upstairs to see if I'm gonna keep them or get rid of them. Shades are beautiful, love the formulas, just not sure that I love them as much as I used to. Um, so yeah, I think we did pretty well. Kind of proud of myself. It's